I'm not certain if you can see this, but I just wanted to show how I'll do an outline a quarter of an inch inside the seam. I've already done a quarter of an inch outside and I'm using um, Natalia Bonner's four in one ruler to do so. So first I've, I've already pulled up my bobbin thread. Oh no, I haven't. So I did one little stitch, so that'll pull up my bobbin thread to the top. And then I do my locking stitches. On this machine, I have to push the button manually each time one so i do about three or four stitches to lock it in place i move my tails out of the way and i set my ruler in i'm in precision mode so it even no matter how fast i go it evenly distributes 12 stitches per inch and i really like that feature so here we go in precision mode i'm holding my ruler down and getting to the end and making my turn because this ruler has lines every uh, half inch, I believe, I can use the previously outlined lines, let's move you back just a little bit so I can get my ruler in there, to um, line up with the outside. And I know that the ruler will, the base of the machine, let's turn you as I go, the base of the machine will, up against the ruler and give me the perfect straight line. I did my, let's see, I did my um, outside offset in white thread and I'm doing the inset in gray inside of all the blocks. And it's just too fun. I was going to say too easy, but it's not too easy, <laughs> but it is too much fun and it turns out great. I know my camera moved and when I get to the end, all I have to do is a few locking stitches again and then I move, I give myself some slack, move the top thread out of the way that bobbin thread is moving with me. So I have to come back to the beginning drop my needle to pull up the bobbin thread, move it away, and now that bobbin thread is up to the point where I can cut the whole thing and throw those little pieces away and I have that line inside, that quarter inch seam inside my quilt. Very happy. And the cool part, let's go underneath, is that it's creating, because I'm using minky fabric on the back, it's also creating a, a pattern as I go in the back. Very, very fun and exciting. And I did the outline and then I'm working my way back up the quilt. So I have the end of this row and two more rows to go before I can actually take this off of my frame. Very exciting.